huge ferries plying the water between small islands, an image typical of the Oland archipelago. The islands are right on the sea route between Stockholm and Helsinki. The archipelago has about 6,700 islands, but only 60 of them are inhabited. The capital, Mariholm, lies on the main island, Fasta Oland. Almost 12,000 people live here. In the summer, many tourists join them, most of them day trippers. One of the town's favorite attractions is the Pommern, a sailing ship that was launched in 1903 and is now a museum. On the other side of the town is the Old Harbor, which today is home to artisan studios, restaurants, and cafes. Originally, it wasn't a tourist place. Uh, most of the buildings you see in here, they are private buildings. Various entrepreneurs, uh, they are boat builders, they are blacksmiths, uh, silversmiths, goldsmiths, uh, and uh, artists, and so on. Oland has always attracted artists. A museum shows works painted in the late 19th century in the Unigebe Artists Colony, founded by a landscape painter, Victor Westerholm. Dozens of artists, most of them from Sweden or Finland, lived in the colony. Their main subjects were landscapes and portraits. The colony was founded in 1886 and it uh, ended in 1914 when the First World War came. But the most intense years were the uh, years from 1886 until 1892, the six first years. St. Olaf's Church in Jomala near Mariham is Finland's oldest stone building. The medieval castle and the ruins of the fortress show that Oland was once a fiercely contested territory. The archipelago's largest medieval church is also made of stone, Zund Church. Although the population of Orland is a small one, there are a number of medieval stone churches here. And this particular Zund Church, where we are now, it's built 1270 approximately. And it contains several pieces of art of which are very valuable and very special. One of its treasures is the five meter tall triumphal crucifix. It's about two hours by ferry from Mariholm to the island of Trukar in the southeast of the archipelago. The former Franciscan monastery is already visible when the ferry enters the harbor. Finnish author Ulla Lena Lundberg spends her summers on Trukar. Sometimes she takes other vacationers on tours of the monastery and the island. The monastery's tower is used for more than ringing bells. It has a second function uh, as a lighthouse, not a proper lighthouse, but as a site of a lantern that actually shows you the shipping route through here. About 250 people live on Turkar. From here, you can take small boats to many uninhabited neighboring islands. One of those islands is Chelsker. Many who come here visit the small house built on a cliff. It once belonged to Tova Jansson, a renowned Finnish writer. Chelsker is a world of stone and cliffs. Just 20 minutes away by boat, another island provides a contrast. Udu, covered with lush grass, is a natural paradise. The Öland Archipelago, a destination with some astonishing landscapes. <laughs> 